Hello everybody, and now that we are back in our project, begin by creating a widget, a widget blueprint. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Sprint UI, just to keep everything simple. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to drag out a progress bar. And I'm going to set an anchor to the middle bottom. And I'm just going to remove these X and Y positions, and then set the size for the x value to a scale of 500. Then I'm going to put negative 250 and negative 50 on the y. So it should be right at the very bottom. Now what you can do is you can rename this progress bar to sprint sprint progress bar like that and quickly pop into the graph section. So what we need to do is we need to add a variable. We are going to call, call this variable player underscore variables reables. There we go. And then quickly change this to our BP underscore player. Now what we also need to do is now that we've created a variable we need to bind the progress bar to a variable in our character. So quickly pop into our character blueprints and let's add or let's actually change this sprint variable and let's change this to stamina percentage. There we go. Now we can set this value to a value of 1 and let's set stamina to 100 which it should be set to already compile that and now we are going to pop inside of our sprint graph i realized that from the last video we didn't actually connect both of these to the output so you wouldn't actually get an output through here so go ahead and connect both of the pins into the output node before we set up the um, functionality we need to actually um, create a binding to the to the UI. So let's first create a variable and call this sprint UI. And let's change this to our sprint underscore UI right here and make it an object reference. Then what we can do is we can create a UI widget inside of the character. So on begin play, We will create widget, select our sprint UI, then we will set this variable to our widget that we just created, and then we're going to add it to viewport. Now this will add the UI to like um, the player screen, but then we also need to set under here, we need to set player variables. And we need to set the player variable, which is our character, as our self. So just put a self reference. So now we're done with setting a... Um, we're done creating the link between the UI and the player. We can set our stamina percentage. A progress bar runs on values from 0 to 1, so we need to truncate this integer. Truncate, tr truncate this value, or make it to float. Then, what we need to do is we need to divide this value by 100. Now this will bring our three-digit value to a, per like, decimal place value and it has to be a float because integers do not have decimal places so now that that is ready we have one or a few more things to do let us go into our progress bar and scroll all the way down put 
change fill percentage to one and then create a new player binding so we want the player variable to be bound to our stamina percentage that means this value is bound to our stamina percentage so if you could save that and hit play now we can walk around and our stamina is not getting affected or we can sprint and our stamina is getting um, depleted and then when we stop moving our stamina increases now this is tied into with the progress bar down here is obviously linked with that um, print screen up there so if you want we can quickly remove the print screen so we don't have two so let's just delete this right there and then you can hold alt i mean you can right click on this pin and remove execution pin so it's a bit cleaner there we go um so that is basically it for adding the sprint ui into unreal engine 4 remember to save your work and everything like that in the next episode um i'm probably going to be adding crosshairs and different ui elements um they'll show you like your double jumping and um fuel left in your um, jetpacking functionality that we'll be adding in the video after that but anyway um thank you so much for watching it is a pleasure making these tutorials if you have any questions or anything like that just post them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them if not i'll make a tutorial on them um to help you as soon as possible well anyway thank you once again so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe